Welcome back, folks. Tonight's edition is about how we could have played Netflix better. Um, what you can look for. Sometimes it's it's uh, dropping. Your ticker is dropping, and you're wondering, should I stay in? Should I leave? And obviously, when a ticker is dropping, um, your premiums are dropping faster because people trend, tend to jump off the boat faster than what the uh, ticker is actually sinking. So um, in this particular case, we, and this will apply to a lot of other trades that you might have had or you may have eventually in, in the future. But in this particular case, we were playing Netflix. We got the bottom pretty, pretty good. Um, we entered right here on this bounce. So we took the 585s knowing we would get in the money pretty quickly. See, we got in the money. And I've told you before, and Netflix is like that. And a lot of other tech tickers are like that. That dark green line is 200 EMA. It gets attracted to it. And see, it did the same thing at the end of the day. But if it doesn't cross it with, with a lot of volume, Basically, it's going to get and stop there as resistance. I was under the impression, looking at the chart, that we could have made it all the way up to here, which is a little higher. And I still believe, you know, it's not a bad play, which is 589.50-ish. Um, that's where I thought we would go. But nonetheless, we were still in the play. Entry was good at this point. Uh, it went up and then came back down. Uh, and this is the part where it started going down. I mean, it doesn't look that bad from this point of view, but you know, you're 588 here and it's dropping to um, in under a certain line. And we've learned this from ages ago. As soon as you see, you know, this, this wick here, is in line with this and now we're dropping below that and I'll show you exactly what I mean by putting in line right here so you see I'll draw it on this again there was support imagine the morning you know at the gate it's starting to drop it comes down here and then it bounces right on this line you guys all see this wick, right? This is what it did. It came down and bounced right on this. So this, to me, was support. And then it got rejected. It came back down. This is where we entered. And again, support. Same line. Here, this price action, pre-market, I'm not really uh, looking at it. Sometimes there's more activity. Uh, I'm not really looking at that one there. So... There's a bounce, there's another one, a higher low. So this yellow line that you're looking at was my support line. See what it did here? It went below, it broke below. Now, this is the mistake. This is where you have market makers and people wanting to get in. This is where, well, my stop was and many other people's stop would have been set because what happens is as soon as it gets under a lot of people have a stop their stops right here you can imagine that if you want to get filled you want to fill a big order right here this is where you have a lot of shares that are available so even if the volume picks up under the line you're not making this rise super rapidly because you're grabbing all the shares under the stop. And this is getting messy here, but you see that this is biting under my line and this is why I decided to get out. I was in here and out there a little higher, barely green. I didn't want to take a red trade on that one. I got out. Things I could have done better first. Obviously, you can wait and see what happens, but I was under the impression we were below that support. Now, is this support from today? Yes. 
I could have zoomed out a little bit and see what happened. So let me get out of here. And if you zoom out a little bit, oh, this is support from Friday. See how it bounced? Same thing. Double bottom. This is where we took the play on Friday. Same, same line. So the same line is same thing here. So if Friday we dropped under, I was kind of thinking we will drop lower. However, zoom in a little bit. See this guy here? Let's get out of here for a second. This line. This guy is lower. How low? I'll show you exactly where it is. It's this low, right? Ah, it's just like magic. Right? I tell you about support and resistance. That low from yesterday, when it, before it started climbing, is the same low here. So basically, my line was from Friday. I was afraid we would go down lower. However, this is where it went down yesterday. So basically, the line was close, but it should have been moved down a little bit because yesterday, this is where support remained and this is where we had the buyers stay in so this is number one number one i should have looked a little further back zooming out and not trusting the numbers i had from friday but making sure that support was there could there have been a possibility that the support would have been a little lower I mean, we're talking about a, almost a $600 stock when you're talking about pennies off, either up or down. You have to be precise, yes, but sometimes, you know, algos and computers are trading the whole thing. So they will react to previous numbers. And this number here should have been the number I, I should have looked at. That's number one. Number two is... Compare with the rest of the market. What are we doing, right? What are we doing in comparison to the rest of, of the market? At that particular time, right? At two, what was the time exactly on this? 2.10 in the afternoon. At that particular time, what was the rest of the market do, doing? So... At 2.10 in the afternoon, this is SPY. Look at what it was doing right here. 2.10. It was on a double bottom. It was coming back precisely, you know, tiny little bit higher. But at 2.10, we were on a double bottom testing this low. Most of the time, what you will see on a double bottom, it will do this. Either it climbs where it does this. There's very little energy comes down, tests, and then down. So on this double bottom, usually you get a test to the outside. So basically, us on Netflix, not on Spy, on Netflix, us on a double bottom on the overall market, we should have expected some sort of a bounce. And two, being on the proper support line is crucial. So how could have we, how we could have been playing Netflix better? Two things, looking for proper support, making sure we have the right line. I mean, one line was good, which was from Friday. However, you clearly saw that the line from yesterday was a tiny little bit lower and this is where we went down to. And the second thing is compared to the gen the rest of the market, how is this reacting? General and overall market was on the double bottom. We could have looked for a bounce at that line. So I hope you're learning. I'm trying to learn just as much as you are and trying to review plays, how we could have improved and help. I hope this is helping out folks. Thanks for watching. See you soon.